Alright people, we're going to take a coach from Singapore to Ipoh. Let's travel and feast. And after nine hours, we are here in Ipoh. So right now, the weather is pretty chilly and uh, we're gonna get a cab and head to the hotel. See, we can try to check in early. gives us six hours of free time so I will take this as a chance to show you what you can do if you arrive early so the first thing I'm gonna do is freshen up eight hours of bus ride sucks step two separate your important belongings for your non-important belongings and store them with the hotel concierge so you have less things to carry when you are out there Step 3, always make sure to find out where you can get food for 24 hours or somewhere for breakfast because usually when you take a coach, you will arrive pretty early. So you spend like 10 minutes walking all the way from a hotel to Nam Hyong coffee shop and uh, it's the environment is really quiet it's it's nothing like you see in the pictures it's very very quiet so we are at Nam Hyong coffee shop and it's really really crowded yeah we, I don't think we can get a seat now but we still want to try out the coffee which is Ipoh's trademark Ipoh Old Town White Coffee so we got our Ipo White Town coffee, but we got the iced coffee version. Even though there's ice inside there, you can see how thick it is. Look at it. Look at that color, man. Oh, good. It has a very refined taste. 
It doesn't, and, and I don't taste much milk in it, but yet it is still very velvety in uh, texture. And I, I, hope, I, I don't know how to explain it, it's really that good. It, this is fucking amazing, man. So, this is what we got. Oh, look at that chili sauce. It's, it's more like chili paste. Gonna dump this. Okay. I'm gonna dip this. It looks like it has century egg inside. You see the black stuff there? That is century egg, I think. Dip that in. A bit of the mayonnaise. I am hungry as fuck. We traveled for eight hours without eating anything. We didn't even prepare because we thought there's gonna be a pit stop. We said that that there will be a pit stop, but there wasn't anything. And we didn't bring anything with us. To eat. So. This is our first meal of the day. Mm. That was really, really different uh, from the usual one we, we, we get in Singapore. That is, oh my god, it has, has a heavy um, tinge of, 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 of pickled ginger, and the pork flavor is just so good. It, it, it has a slight chickeny taste to it. And the skin is amazing because it's 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 slightly harder and it's not like crispy. It's it's a slight crisp to it, but it's not like fried crispy. When you chew it together, it's oh fuck, it's so good. You can see here there's pork, and you see this orangey thing here. That's prawn. I'm gonna try this. Yeah, that chili and mayonnaise. The second one tasted very similar to the first one, but it had a more seafoody taste to it, and the pork and seafood uh, it, that that combination is really good. We we are having a very good start. So we made our way to restaurant Ching Kuan Fang to have the best curry noodles in Ipoh. After 35 minutes of waiting, we finally got our curry bee and I hope that it's worth the wait. Can't wait to try it. Everybody here is having curry bee. That's a lot of ingredients here. You can see there's shredded chicken. That's, I think this is pork. And I have no idea what this is, but it feels really springy. And look at that color, man. Look. It's not really thick, it's a bit watery. Let's mix this up and give it a go. Let's drench it in the curry. We'll take a piece of chicken as well. Mixed feelings now. It's good, but not what I expected. The curry has a lot of flavor, but just the curry alone feels like there's something missing, and that's where the noodles and the meat comes in. Because that, that, that it just fills in the emptiness in the, in the curry, so it, it becomes this well-balanced thing. The noodles are cooked to perfection and they have, they have soaked enough curry to contain the taste but not, not too soggy, not soggy at all, it's really good and the meat gives that extra bite, I'm really loving this, it, 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 it feels very well balanced and a very good dish to have in the morning. Here's some good news, it's 11.36 now and we managed to check in early, we, we got our key cards, so we're gonna check out the room now. Okay, this is our room 905. Let's take a look. This 
D, small table, a nice bed. Check out the view. Oh, sunlight. This is the view from a hotel. See Ipo City, and there's a park next to a hotel, and this is the Kinta River. And we also can see the mountain in the distance. And this is our toilet. <sighs> and most importantly, we have the safe here. Wow, can connect. Free high speed Wi-Fi, look at that. So we rested for a while and uh, we need more food. <laughs> <laughs>